a god who created us in his goodness and kindness he wants us to have life in all its fullness that's why he says in john 10:10 10, i have come that you may have life in all its fullness but when we look into our lives we who are called to live a fullness of life have lost it maybe in one way or another due to whatever may be the reason a god comes to renew us to forgive us once again to empower us that we may shine with his light we may move with his spirit and we may walk in his love may our lives be rebuilt again that is the desire of our god as we have come more love more of you i need lord i want to be filled with more of you your power your grace your light your strength become mine oh lord i want more and more of you hunger for him it is your hunger for him that will take him to the lord it is your intimacy with your god will become your strength your power hunger for him david cried like the dry ground waiting for the water i hunger for you lord when the rain comes the dry ground changes its color changes its life changes lifeless ground becomes green ground producing ground life giving ground he is coming to be with you welcome him our god is such a loving god who comes to give us life but lord as romans 3:23 says when you look down you find there is no one who is seeking after you everyone is living in their own world in their own way and so everyone are tied up in their own sin in their own weaknesses in their own selfishness and the enemy finds place in them he finds his character in the man and he enters into man and he destroys man but when man calls upon the lord the merciful god comes and cleanses him and delivers him cast away the enemy from him and renews his life as you kneel before the lord you too can raise your hands as you kneel before him you can ask him lord i am sorry i to have lost your glory recognizing your own sinfulness your own weaknesses that has taken you away from god that has taken away the great spirit life and glory which god has given to you but now you are tied up in your own little world your children are dying your sin your weakness your curses come behind you but look at the cross he has come down to take away all the curses from you he has come down to shed his blood to wipe away your sins and to make you his own invite him into your life call upon him into my heart come lord jesus into my heart cleanse me cleanse me with your precious blood and fill me with your holy spirit lord call upon him he has created us by himself and for himself praise the lord we are created by him the book of jeremiah chapter 1 verse 4 to 5 says even before you were in the womb of your mother i have known you even before you were born what are the problems you are going to face in the world 
what are the situations in which you are going to live accordingly to face that people to face the situation i have created a body for you i have created a world for you i have created a parents for you i have created an atmosphere for you yes you are created by me and for me praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah that's why the bible says he breathed his breath into man genesis chapter 2 verse 7 he breathed his very breath into man god did not create man with merely with mud and say go on live in this mud no that's why we read in the book of second corinthians chapter 4 verse 7 in this clay pot we carry the mighty power of god mighty presence of god yes who is this man man is a clay pot the moment he dies he may be thrown into the mud but we are not mere mud in this mud pot we carry the mighty power of god mighty presence of god mighty breath of god praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah but this at the same time on the other hand we find the god of this world as the lord has said in the book of second corinthian chapter 4 verse 4 god of this age the evil forces in the world is roaring like a lion to capture the minds of man to capture the lives of man that's why in first peter chapter 5 where 7 and 8 it is written your enemy is ro- like a roaring lion he is trying to capture the children of god but you place all your worries all your disturbances all that troubles you all that of the enemy give it to god and be built by god 